welcome to my new series. I am going to be taking you guys along the journey as I create my dream oasis, turning my already dream apartment, girl. And if you're new here, welcome. Let me fill you in. A couple of months ago, I moved into my dream apartment. I finally left my Jamaican parents household, turned into an adult girl, and moved into my dream apartment. And I finally have gotten all the tools and all of the things that I need to turn this place into my dream oasis, into my safe place, girl. So welcome to my new makeover series. In this series, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me as I turn this space, which is already my dream apartment, into my dream oasis, into my spot. The vibes that I'm going for is greenhouse chic, Afrocentricism, a little touch of luxury and boho, but all in the mix of having the perfect self-love chilled calm vibe. Without further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to be making over my living room. <laughs> let's get started. This is what my living room looks like before. Gray walls, gray couch, barely any furniture. Nothing to see here, pretty dusty and crusty. Guys, this is no longer going to be my living room. It's gonna look amazing. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. 
So first you're going to take this piece, your longest piece. Then you kind of want to just ever so slightly put it around the frame. I cannot get over this. <laughs> so sad! Guys, this is the easiest application to ever. Like, do you see how good this already looks? Do you see how good this already looks? For that is to put on the storage slash L shape part of the couch. Just using these Velcro strips and attaching it underneath. There you go. There you go. And then put it right there. Guys, look at my couch! Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I really cute and gold plated legs on Amazon. They weren't expensive at all and look how beautiful these are. These are going to bring it up a notch making my couch look so much better. Look how beautiful. Alright, let's go. Two, three, one. So we're just gonna take this out. If you have the same couch as me and you want to make the same transformation, the first thing you're going to have to do is cut one of those golden legs so that your sofa can still pull out. Secondly, you need to adjust the height of the sofa so that it can match the overall length of the new couch. I did this by grabbing some lumber from Home Depot that matched around the size of the new legs and got it cut. Back at it again! I found, you know what? Found this wood stain in the color rose. I think it's going to be perfect! And it was perfect. Just look at this nice baby pink color on this wood. The longer you let it sit, the darker it gets. I let it sit for seven minutes before allowing it to dry for an hour and then coating it with a clear gloss to dry overnight. And these are the results. Perfect. <laughs> And look guys, the artist signed it. Thank you for supporting Black Art, signed Jarrell. I'm gonna link it down below because you guys have to check him out. Next we're gonna be putting on this beautiful rug I got from Home Good. is your choice of lighting. So I got this really bomb lamp. Best find ever. Oh girl was only like 80 or 70 something dollars on Amazon. <laughs> this is creating 
such a vibe. All right, guys, the sun is going down. I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. Well, day 25 by this point, but finally, the reveal. Back in it again for another trip. The last trip, y'all. This is the last trip that I'm doing. Today, we're going to Home Depot, Home Sense, Target, Home Goods someplace else but we're doing a lot today <laughs> getting all of the last things <laughs> This is what the entryway looks like. Pretty bland and empty and tight, but can add so much character. So we're gonna be making a DIY wooden bench. This bench is super customizable. It's all about the size that you need. I need mine to be 30 inches long, about 12 inches out, and about two inches high so I can feel secure. I did all those measurements, which I will share here, and I went to Next, head over to the lumber section and find a piece that works. Focus more on the width instead of the length because you can always go over to the cutting center to get it cut. Which is pretty! I got mine cut 30 inches, super easy. And the last thing you're going to need is some legs. I got these on Amazon, these are hairpin legs. I got them in the color gold. To get started, first you wanna grab some sandpaper and begin sanding down the bench so you don't get any splinters. Next, I got this natural gloss to gloss over the whole entire bench, front, back, side to side, and allowed it to dry overnight for this beautiful natural finish. Making the bench is actually the easiest part. I just grabbed my 16-inch hairpin legs and placed each leg on each corner of the bench and used a drill to drill it in. And then we're done. Dressing up an entryway can add so much character. It's the first thing you see when you enter your house. The bench fits perfectly and to add some character and style, I'm gonna add on this faux sheepskin with these Afrocentric pillows, adding on this cute woven basket and a key dish. Like, <laughs> like this looks so good. So now I want to do something to the top. So here's another hack for you guys. I went on Canva and made these prints by myself using the things that they had on there and the templates. And I like this one. This one says Black Girl Magic. This one's really cute. And then I just printed them out on some really sturdy paper and bought frames to make my own mini gallery wall. Lighting can change everything. So I took out this ugly light and replaced it with this beautiful light fixture. And now it's time to add those finishing touches. And now for the piece of resistance. And my last tip is to place some of your favorite things on display. Things that mean something to you or simply things that taught you something special. There's something really amazing about curating a space for you, by you, for you to live your best life. After two months of working on my first ever living room and my first ever apartment, I can't wait to share with you guys the final result. Here is what it looked like before and finally the reveal.
looking at it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can understand the amount of happiness that I feel right now. I'm just so blessed. I'm just so amazed at the fact that I was able to turn this place into my self-love oasis. When I walk into this living room now, I feel nothing but good, positive vibes, sis. Y'all, I just can't stop looking at it. I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Trust the timing of your life. I have been working, saving, and praying for this for years. Praying for the opportunity to finally be able to be independent, move out on my own and to finally be able to furnish my living room and make it for me and make it so beautiful I'm just y'all I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to leave all of the links to everything that I have in this space down below so you guys can check it out I really hope that you guys join me for the next episode when we make over my kitchen and breakfast snug but thank you guys so much for watching me furnish and doing this living room makeover in my first ever dream apartment I really hope you guys like it and if you did please don't be shy give me a big thumbs up comment down below and sis don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and never forget to live and love with you